So Xbox seemingly crashes. Xbox is having the same problem with pre-orders. I just think they sort of just delay next gen to 2021 after this virus stuff is over. But yeah, this is a big problem here. It was it actually was the same thing with the Switch as well. All the way back in 2013, of course, if there was a bad PR about Nintendo, no one would ever talk about it. Which is why people, yeah, whenever something bad happens to Nintendo, you know, bad PR happens with Nintendo, no one ever talks about that. But yeah, Switch also had pure uh, problems as well. And yeah, I think this is probably the new, f I think this is probably going to be the new problem with consoles going forward, is pre-order problems. The, the Xbox One, Xbox Series X are now having pre Xbox both of them, both of the versions. Whereas again, the Xbox Series S is re less powerful than the X. So those people who are looking for the graphics, who are, you know, the PC master race, who are wanting to dip into the console race, are going to buy, of course, the more powerful version. Of course, they're going to buy Microsoft because they know Microsoft are the ones that make the PC. E. Dell. Make a lot, make windows and stuff. So yeah, some of the PC master ways are probably dipping to buying the consoles, but I bet most of them won't. They're gonna continue buying, of course, PC, which of course makes them the PC, you know, gamers and stuff. We all know they are like that. But yeah, we're talking about not talking about PC. But yeah, Xbox Series X and S crashed websites, and it's the same thing that happened with Sony. Uh, and of course, only US, it's only happened in the US during the demand for next gen consoles. The thing is, the problem is the virus and stuff, okay? So, we're having trouble keeping demand in production because of the virus. I think they sort of delayed it until, like, I know they want to make it for the holidays, but I think they sort of delayed it to next deal because of the virus. I said this multiple times that, you know, problems may occur if they, ha if they release these consoles this year, and they still release them this year. They, you know, like that. And Xbox Series S and S are crashing sites, pre-order sites, because they're basically, you know, the virus and stuff. Because they're having trouble with the virus as well and stuff like that. You know, they're having, you know, that stuff. And yeah, on most cars, they're almost U.S. digital retailers. Queen Microsoft's own stores significant problems. And of course, a lot of people must have been hearing me as well behind Xbox instead of Sony, knowing that Microsoft has been, you know, very well for poker super very lately compared to Sony. You know, we all know a lot of Sony's issues as well. Sony's issues with their, with their consoles. They're supposedly the weaker console. And of course, power will come, and I know, people are going to tell me graphics don't matter. Well, we all know graphics do matter. Let's look at the Wii U. The Wii U flopped because it had only it had 360 and PS3 graphics. Meanwhile, the PS4 and Xbox One had better processors and everything. They could handle and run the next-gen games. So graphics do matter. It matters if the third-party companies report the games or not. And say, of course, sales matters as well. Sales are the most money. Is the sales and money are the most important thing. As long as it sells, no matter how bad the graphics is, it will probably sell. And another problem is Sony is making all the games $70. And again, most people are not going to want to buy pie games for $70. But Microsoft said that it will be up to the customer's choice. It will be the people's choice, rather if the games that are selling for $70, i.e. Call of Duty, you know, the Star Lego Star Wars Ultimate Edition, but you still can buy the normal edition for sixty dollars on all consoles. But again, the you know, Lego Star Wars the Ultimate Edition and of course NBA and Call of Duty. And basically Microsoft said if you want to buy games for $30, we're gonna make the people decide. We're not gonna force it down your phones like Sony is doing. And yeah, and also the fact that they recently bought Bethesda, which is also rumored that they might make an exclusive game like a, for example of exclusive doom cross halo crossover of course that of course that will be you know i think that will be everybody everybody's dream that doom halo crossover here you know, in every xbox series x game confirmed and yeah they, we all know halo if it's going to be the only halo game for 10 years but what if that the other game hit they make one more halo game but instead of instead of it's about halo it's a it's a non-canon to the halo universe 
crossover and Doom universe, crossover between Halo and Doom. I think that's something that people have been wanting for a while. A Halo Doom crossover. These two franchises were basically about unstoppable men in armor, basically destroying alien civilizations and and basically destroying threats to humanity as only them. So yes, basically they're the Xbox Series X is selling out on consoles. So it powers in promising them more years on the way. Microsoft are really on the exact pro- the uh, promise as well. So the chance that led to strange problems with retailers and physical games that will get this baby out of various stocks of consoles. And yeah, I think the virus is also hurting production of these consoles. I won't be surprised if that has an involvement with it. But yeah, I think production consoles, yeah, the same, and people don't realize it, but Switch also had the same exact problem when Nintendo announced the Switch as well. The like first director they can pre-order Switch. The the Switch was sold out. You couldn't you couldn't pre-order the Switch. And when the Switch came out, you couldn't buy it either. And the Switch had production issues for the longest of times. So yep, there we go. That's the Xbox Series X. It's also having the same problems with the PS4, P, not PS4, PS5. You know, Dell. And yes, it's causing major problems with retailers as a whole. And yeah, I think this problem will probably be resolved pretty soon. I'm not going to be all angry like certain YouTubers, you know, are on, you know, or like that. This is good. This was a problem that Nintendo had. This is a problem that Sony had. And of course, I was a little more tough than Sony because Sony was the one that won the last generation. Because Nintendo was virtually a non-factor of the Wii U. And yeah, Nintendo is currently winning this generation because the Switch currently counts as a next-gen hardware. Even though it really is and it was came out, Nintendo Switch was... I won't be surprised if Nintendo Switch was rushed out because of this Wii U's failure. Was caused the whole Joy-Con problems and stuff with the console, you know, there as well. But there we go, the Xbox Series X and S are having pre-order issues. And yep, that's basically it. Goodbye.